the way to set financial goals is an individualistic affair, d.h. Your goals are your own goals and are determined by your desire to reach them. Often we enter the target group to later discover that this was not meant for us. It is important that your goals are actually your goals and not someone else's inspiration. Piggybacking from the previous point, real entrepreneurs almost always do something to improve their business, their vision or their entire lives. The reason these people can persevere is their tireless efforts to achieve their goals by all means necessary. They live with passion and conviction, making sure that every action they take is intentional and helps them to grow in one way or another. If you want to start a big business, you can work on it by setting up your own business. Alternatively, if you want to become an investor, you will learn to pick the right opportunities and immediately take them when they become available. Only if you have your financial goals clearly in mind, you can see your true potential. So if you want to develop the mindset of billionaires, you need to increase your risk-bearing capacity. Your answer to these questions will determine whether or not you reach billionaire status. But instead of billionaires sheing away from promising investments, their job is to put together a business team and set up a rigorous risk management policy. So, if you think like a billionaire, you need to develop your mindset to deal with risks. Many of the richest people like to spend their money instead of spending it carelessly. It proves that the law, if you give, you receive works. To sum up, billionaires are cautious lenders, hard investors and risk takers. In addition, it can suddenly disappear if you suddenly become rich. Here everything that the children do is considered by the parent as a test, to finally determine how suitable they are for a dynastic succession. They often measure their success only financially and compete and only compare themselves to other billionaires. Someone always has a bigger yacht or a better sports team and in a world without trust, it just does not bring lasting joy to have more stuff. In the previous post, we discussed the key features for reaching the 10-digit club. Each contribution deals with the evolution of the mindset of billionaires. Today we will consider how important it is to be a disturber to get rich. Recently, I read some articles and noticed some interesting examples of hiring billionaires versus millionaires. It takes a lot of skill and strength to become a millionaire. Unless you've won the lottery or are a criminal, you've done something right to earn a million dollars. The world is full of people with new ideas who are aggressive risk takers. Our story has seen some great visionaries rise from the ashes. They are not only entrepreneurs or business magnates, but also teachers, singers, actors and even home improvement. Real estate issues and George Soros, Sir John Templeton and Peter Lynch are experts in dealing with volatility in the stock markets. J. Paul Getty and John D. Rockefeller solved the problem of oil drilling and distribution. Henry Ford solved the problem of affordability of motor vehicles, Andrew Carnegie solved the problem of mass production of steel.